Hey guys, Monty here. Uh, <laughs> got my M1 right here. You can see here, idle temperature 17 Celsius. I'm just going to go ahead and run a, a Cinebench R23. I like running these tests. All right, so I want to see what I get on a multi-core. Go ahead and start this. I don't have anything else open, I don't think. Notes, that's it. I'm going to mess with it a little bit. See my temperatures. Forty Celsius on the M1 chip. And I don't have anything else running. I just wanted to try it out. As you guys see in previous videos, I run Cinebench on my gaming computer. So, curious what this gets. I am plugged in uh, to uh, AC power to the uh, power adapter. It's the only thing. See, it does it pretty quick. And all the M1s should be the same, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, MacBook, MacBook Air, eh, you know, thermal throttles just a little bit. Go get you one of those thermal pads, slap it on the uh, heat sink, you should be fine. But this, what is my score? I want to see what the score is. Looks like I'm hitting 70, 80 C. Okay, I'm getting 77, 60. You're able to see here. 77, 60 on Cinebench R23. Single core will probably take 20 years to do. I'm going to exit out of that. I did do a screenshot. I don't want to replace it. I did do a, uh, I did one before. When I very first got it, so what I get? 70, 77, 60. Here's what I originally got. This is a screenshot as you were able to see a couple days ago. 1502 single core, 7790 on the multi-core. Uh, this was like three days ago when I first got the MacBook. But you can see pretty good scores, right? Not too bad. Um, again, this is just the base model. This is base model MacBook Pro M1, uh, 8 gigabyte, 256. Pretty, pretty basic, right? Uh, yeah, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed that little Cinebench run. You guys probably seen a million of these by now, but to me it's still new. Um, have any questions about the Mac? You want me to see uh, do anything on the Mac? Go ahead and drop it down in the comment section down below. Um, I do work with Macs at my job all day, every day, as well as PCs. So I'm very, very familiar with the hardware, the software, all that. If you guys want to see any like tips and tricks videos or just really anything involved with the Mac, uh, drop it down below. I've been working on Macs for the past, I don't know, seven years or so. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.